All right, so this is a very brief overview of responding to security incidents. When something bad happens uh, on the security side of things, when someone actually is able to break in and make something bad happen, you usually have to do something about it as soon as possible to prevent further damage. Uh, if it's not the same person returning for more, then it might be that person leaking out information about how they got into your flawed security system so that other people can get in. So it's very important to try to clean everything up and protect against further intrusion. So what you want to do ahead of time, before a security incident even starts, is you need a detailed incident response plan. You need to have the team of people who are involved with any sort of security a breach or anything like that, they need to know exactly what needs to happen in order to uh, recover from a security incident. And there has to be some sort of centralized reporting. So any sign that there is a security incident, whether it's unauthorized modification of databases or unauthorized access of network stuff or stuff like that, all of that has to be reported directly to one central area, whether that is one person in particular or one team of people. Um, there has to be that sort of centralized reporting. So the nice thing about a incident response plan with centralized reporting is it really helps show the scope of a problem. If Every employee that was being affected by, let's say, a virus uh, was just reporting to their manager and no one else, then uh, the managers might think, oh, well, it's only this one employee or these few employees that are having trouble with this. This is isolated. Whereas if everyone reported to a centralized location and the centralized location saw, oh, like three different people from each department we're reporting this, but every single department got hit. This is a massive system issue. That's the benefit of having that centralized reporting right there. So the incident response plan is going to tell every employee exactly what to do if something bad happens and that the centralized reporting allows the people who need to take care of all of that stuff. Uh, it allows them to start working on their pieces of actually uh, mitigating problems and that kind of stuff. So the employees might be like, okay, turn off your computer immediately, report to someone uh, or something like that. Centralized reporting will have a very uh, detailed incident report plan. Uh, you need to respond as quickly as possible in order to minimize the damage done to the system. And this means having someone ready to deal with an incident like this 24 seven, if you have really, really sensitive information. So having night shift people who are able to respond as quickly as possible, who are part of this centralized reporting uh, team, I guess. But you need to respond as fast as possible in order to minimize damage, which means that the preparation pays so that you can respond quicker. Uh, you don't want to sit around trying to figure out what to do while damage is being done. You want to already know what to do or have a document that you can very quickly reference in order to know exactly what to do. So that means training, and that means having uh, incident response plan information readily available. You also want a lot of practice with this kind of thing, but we'll get to that. And you don't want to make the problem worse. A confused employee might try to fix a whole bunch of stuff uh, delete a whole bunch of files or make a whole bunch of changes to a database or something like that if they recognize something has gone wrong with any of that and that can actually exacerbate damages like that but so panic can cause further problems on top of the problems that they're already having which is why uh, having that preparation and having that incident response plan is really important both for any employees that might not know what's going on and for the people who are actually tasked with fixing the issue. Having a detailed plan like that means that they're not going to accidentally make things worse, ideally. I uh, can't 100% say that, but it minimizes the chance. And of course, practicing, running drills, 
making sure that that team knows how to quickly resolve problems and updating everything based on the landscape of malware changing. But practice means that that response time becomes even faster, that damage is minimized even more. Um, it helps with that preparation. So that's responding to security incidents. We're not really going a ton into that because um, this is going to the specifics are going to be more important for the people who are actually doing the technical work here. But as an a uh, possible business professional, as someone studying management of information systems, it's important to know that these systems are in place that there is an incident response plan, that there is centralized reporting, that there is practice and training and preparation, all that kind of stuff. You need to know that that stuff is in place, especially when you're at a higher level. So that's why it's important to know that stuff, as well as really anything in this chapter. It's really important to know all of this information so that you know everything is being implemented right under your watch.